this video we're going to talk glycogen conversion. Now stay calm, sounds complex, let's make it easier. This is the story of how your muscles use energy and how that can be of benefit to you. Let's start right at the beginning. What happens to the carbohydrates that we eat? The carbohydrates from food are broken down inside the body into the sugar, glucose. This glucose is then released into the bloodstream where it can be used immediately for energy. When our blood glucose levels rise beyond a certain point, insulin is released to send glucose to the liver and the muscles. Now this glucose reaches the liver and it reaches the muscles and it becomes converted into glycogen. Glycogen is a form of sugar which the liver and muscles can store away for later use. The muscles can only store so much glycogen. Once the stores are full, glucose levels in the bloodstream rise again and the liver processes the glucose into a form that fat cells can now absorb and store as fat instead. As you can see, having full glycogen stores in your muscles that go unemptied is not a good thing because it dramatically increases the likelihood of fat storage. So how can we use up those glycogen stores in the muscle tissue and encourage fat burning rather than fat storage? By doing high intensity training quick hit style. Let's look at a quick hit workout. When you do a quick hit workout, your muscles need to use their stored glycogen to fuel the muscle contractions. During the workout, your body releases epinephrine, causing an amplification cascade that utilizes tens of thousands of molecules of muscle glycogen for immediate use in those muscles. It's a little bit like pulling the plug on an overflowing bathtub. The glycogen is drained away, used up, fueling your muscles. Then, after your workout, the muscle cells need to be refilled with glycogen. The bathtub needs refilling. Muscle cells become sensitive to insulin again, and this draws glucose out of the bloodstream and reduces circulating insulin levels. And glucose is now shuttled out of the blood directly to muscles and storage in muscles rather than to fat. So it's now going to the muscles preferentially over fat. Over the long term, Strength training improves insulin sensitivity and glucose tolerance too. And this helps to improve overall metabolic health and reduce metabolic risk factors. At the same time, you're also building bigger storage tanks in your muscle cells that can store more glycogen. This means that there's more fuel for your muscles and less excess glucose for fat storage. So to sum up, by engaging in your quick hit training, you are using the human biology in the way it has been designed to be used. Muscle glycogen stores are not meant to be full all the time. They are meant to be emptied and refilled regularly. Doing so helps keep the body metabolically healthy, keeping blood sugar levels in balance and enhancing your insulin sensitivity. And this tips your scales in favor of body fat reduction rather than ongoing fat gain. 